ready. This joke's going to break the internet. All right, everybody. If 2020 hasn't been enough to scare us, well, here comes Halloween. <laughs> Guess what? The CDC just told us that we can't even go trick-or-treating on Halloween. So this year, Halloween is on a Saturday. We've got an extra hour because of daylight savings time. And it's supposed to be an amazing full moon. Out of all years to have a pandemic, it's got to be this one. <laughs> okay, I get it. Everybody wants to be careful. They don't want to go in up to some stranger's house getting free candy. But wait, that's what happens every single Halloween year. <laughs> I used to be allowed to take candy from strangers, but now I can't take candy from anyone. Like nobody knows where that candy came from or who touched it. If it's a snicker box, we're going to eat it. That's the, the fun of Halloween, besides dressing up and in the costumes and that stuff. <laughs> well, hey, trick or treat, I guess the tricks are on us this year. <laughs> Is it just me, or does it feel like we've been celebrating Halloween since months? <laughs> Every single day, everyone's wearing a mask. I can't even tell who it is. I can be at the store, I can be walking out of my neighborhood, and I just can't tell. Is it Joe, is it Mary, is it Kevin? I don't know. Everybody's got their face covered. Why are you being a mask away party? Okay, so if you do decide to go trick-or-treating this year, hopefully you have those cool neighbors who might give you toilet paper, hand sanitizer, Amazon gift card, and maybe just a horsey bow in there, because, you know, you still got to have candy for Halloween. Don't you know that Halloween tradition when you come out of your house and you see that those rusty teenagers TP'd your house again everywhere on the trees on your roof? Well, dude! Don't go sad and sobbing. Go get that toilet paper. It's free toilet paper. Climb the roofs, climb the trees, whatever you need. That's what everyone's been begging for. And then you'll be get payback for those guys because they won't have any toilet paper for the rest of the week. They'll probably get grounded by their moms. <laughs> hey, you know it's true. So any of you guys planning out there to dress up as mummies for your costume and use toilet paper, don't do it. We still need toilet paper. They're still sorted. <laughs> There's a cowboy or a cloud or witch. Just anything but a mummy. So ninjas, I think they're going to be a pretty popular costume for this year. You know why? Because ninjas, don't you know they wear those cool mask things? Well, guess what? So are we. Just think about it. You could be a ninja clown, a ninja superhero, a ninja princess. Like anything. You know, I think I got it. I think I'll be a ninja stand-up comedian. Wait, hold on. It's still content. Happy Halloween. So thankfully, since it's cooled down, my mom has been able to take me on walks up the hill. We've always liked to look at all the fun decorations for Halloween. Then one day when I saw this fun house, it was all covered in cobwebs. I even saw some little spiders that looked like they were moving. I showed my mama and she just told me that that family hasn't left their house since the coronavirus started. No wonder it's so dirty. I actually think those spiders were real. So my dad is pretty creative. He's came up with fun things to do during quarantine and then he made up a new coronavirus horror movie. It's about a bunch of people who die from being so bored with all of those meetings on the computer. And they come back to life and kill people. It's called Zombies. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny, right? Zombies. Zombies. No play not soon near you. Ha! Just kidding, because there's no theaters even open. Either they're closed or they're running out of business. Thanks to you, coronavirus. <laughs> Happy Halloween! You know, my parents have been discussing going to those new drive through Halloween places. But I don't think it's that smart of an idea. So imagine you in the car looking at all those fun decorations, and then someone with a scary costume just pops out at you. You'd probably step on the gas, and then you might hit a pumpkin on the car in front of you. That would not be good. Actually, I think the only thing that could scare us these days are people dressing up in coronavirus costumes. Who knows? Maybe they found out. Ah! <laughs> Alright, everybody, I'm Juliet for Billy's Comedy Corner. Thanks for watching and keep on laughing. <laughs>